Hi, welcome to the App Coach channel on YouTube. Today we're going to create a single view application and we're going to add a UI navigation controller to it programmatically. So we're not going to add it through Interface Builder. We're going to add it with a couple lines of code. Um, seems like I do a variation of this tutorial quite often. Every time Apple releases a new version of Xcode, things change a little bit. And so today we're going to be working with Xcode 4.2 and as you can see in just a few minutes this is only just a couple lines of code to add the navigation controller so I'm going to create a new project here let me shrink my window so you can see it all I'm going to create a new single view application I am not using a storyboard and I'm just going to name this navigation controller tutorial something like that add it to my source control and away we go and really as you're gonna see this is just a couple lines of code and it's real easy to do we're gonna start here in the app delegate and I'm going to create a instance of a UI navigation controller and we'll just name it nav controller and then I need to allocate and then init with root view controller that's the key here and the root view controller is going to be this view controller that has already been created for us when we created our app. You see the view, the view controller is created up here and then we're just going to use that as our root view controller when we init with the root view controller um, to make our navigation controller. And then when we go to set the root view controller in our window instead of doing the view controller we're going to do this navigation controller just like that and really that's all there was to adding the navigation controller to our view now before we look at it we're going to go ahead and add a another view controller so UI view controller subclass and we're just going to name it next view and to set it apart I'm just going to uh, change the background color of it here I'll make it blue save that now let's go into our original view controller and we're going to import our new view controller that next view and then we're going to create a little um, IV action here. We'll name it go to next view. And this is going to be real simple. We're going to create an instance of this next view. We'll just name it next, oops, don't like that space. Name, name it next view. Of course, we need the alloc. And this time we will init with nib name which is TIC next view and then of course our bundle and this bundle main bundle just like that okay and then finally the last thing we need to do here I gotta hold on what I have here something doesn't like this because we need a closing bracket there okay onward we go and now the final piece of code is we get our navigation controller and we push our new view into it and we'll just say animate yes just like that now we need to open up our nib file and we're just going to add a button that we'll call this method. Here's our button. I'm just wandering around aimlessly there. And we'll title this next view. And then finally, go to our file zoner and we'll connect that method up to it. That might be action. Connect it to our button. And finally, we can go ahead run this app and we'll see it all done
Okay, the first thing we can see is we did in fact add a navigation bar up here when we added the navigation controller. And we can hit next view. When it goes to our other view, the navigation controller automatically adds our VAC button. And there you go. So it was just as easy as that. Really, it's only a couple of lines of code to add the navigation controller to our UI view controller. Um, okay, that's it. That should work. Uh, for future releases too, since we're not using Interface Builder, we're actually using code, we shouldn't have to worry about any changes to Interface Builder in the future. All right, thanks a lot, and as always, come visit me at theappcodeblog.com for more tutorials, and until next time, have a great day.